TJ, the high of yesterday replaced, as we saw in video, by a low at the top of Vail Pass. What goes through your mind when, when you come up with a ride like that and, and you know you've lost the yellow jersey? Uh, it's it's not easy. It's a, it's a tough pill to swallow. I mean, I was uh, pretty confident after yesterday. I mean, I, I felt incredible yesterday and uh, to be able to take the jersey and then, you know, I it was a time trial. Time trialing is normally my thing, so I thought, uh, you know, I, I can really do this. But, uh, but yeah, it was just a bad day. There's, you know, there's those ha that happens. It looked up high as though you're having trouble turning over the gear. Did you know then that you're on a bad day? Was it before that? Um, I don't know. I think I was just a. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was a little bit nervous and stressed, having been in the jersey. I know. Maybe I didn't get a the best night's sleep. Uh, but I don't know. Um, yeah. Like, as soon as I got out there, I felt like I was breathing heavy and kind of fighting the gear and not really feeling smooth on the bike. So. Um, yeah. A lot has been made of these uh, the first half of the week, but this race is far from over. How do you come back and regain the time that you lost today? It's going to be hard. Um, there's uh, there's no real big mountains anymore. It's looking like it's going to be a couple of sprints. Looks like maybe a little bit of up, uphill finish into Breckenridge, so maybe uh, maybe there's some bonus seconds available. But I don't even know how far I am back. But uh, I, I think if I could get a, a stage win, you know that that'd probably be uh, the better goal to go for now. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome.